In the infinite expanse of the universe, scientists for the first time have unveiled a cosmic marvel, redefining our understanding of the universe. Deep within dense star clusters, something extraordinary dwells, stars. But these are no ordinary stars, but colossal celestial beings known as supermassive stars. And now, their existence has been unveiled by the piercing gaze of the James Webb Space Telescope. Brace yourselves, because things are about to change. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. So, first things first. According to the standard model of cosmology, after the universe came out of the Big Bang, it took between 500 million to 1 billion years for the first stars to form. That, however, is changing. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. We are not just finding single stars, but clusters of them in the early universe and that has the whole scientific community stunned. So now let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the dark ages. The star clusters in question are called globular clusters, ancient celestial enclaves, born approximately 13.4 billion years ago. They are not only the most massive and ancient of star groupings, but they also possess a peculiar characteristic compositional variation among their stars. Picture this, stars born together side by side, emerging from the same cosmic womb of collapsing gas and dust. Yet, despite their shared origins, they exhibit striking differences in the abundance of elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, and aluminium. This enigma, known as abundance anomalies, has perplexed astronomers for years, challenging their attempts to decipher the cosmic puzzle. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. Now, I personally think that the solution to the problem is these are not baby galaxies at all. They're actually monstrous black holes. Black holes that formed after the instant of creation that's baffling scientists because they don't fit in the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. <laughs> to find their remnants, the research team embarks on a quest to uncover the telltale signs of these supermassive stars. They turn to the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared vision seeking to catch glimpses of globular clusters in their nascent stages. Through the telescope's remarkable capabilities, they peer into the distant reaches of space and fix their gaze upon GNZ-11, one of the most ancient and distant galaxies known to humankind. Situated a staggering 13.3 billion light years away, JWST captures the galaxy in its infancy a mere few tens of millions of years old, making it an ideal hunting ground for young globular clusters. It is the distinct nature of light that guides their investigation. Chemical elements possess unique absorption and emission patterns, leaving behind fingerprints that reveal the composition of celestial objects. The astronomers meticulously break down the light emanating from GNZ-11, unearthing two vital pieces of information that propel their quest forward. We have determined that GNZ-11 contains exceptionally high proportions of nitrogen and an abundance of stars, remarks Daniel Shara, 
a distinguished member of the study team and an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva. These findings paint a vivid picture, one that suggests the birth of multiple globular clusters within GNZ 11 and the presence of active supermassive stars within them. With the James Webb Space Telescope as their guide, they will extend their gaze to distant galaxies, exploring more globular clusters and seeking patterns that affirm their theories. With each breathtaking revelation, the cosmos beckons us to delve further, to unravel the secrets concealed within its cosmic tapestry. The pursuit of knowledge, the quest for extraterrestrial life, and the exploration of celestial worlds fuel our insatiable curiosity propelling us towards an uncertain, yet tantalizing future. As humanity ventures forth into the unknown, armed with knowledge and a thirst for understanding, we are humbled by the magnitude and complexity of the cosmos. And with each breakthrough, we inch closer to deciphering the secrets that lie hidden among the stars. With the way Webb is performing, it is only a matter of time before the universe shines in a new light. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore. Hello wonderful people, if you like watching our videos, kindly become a member to support us, so that we can create more such videos. Thank you for your support. Until next time.